tell me, you mentioned things like occupational therapy. Uh, it did help. The OT did help, but he was in OT for several years. And there was some improvement. Um, we did the crash mats. He had those swingy things yes. that he sat on. Yes. We, we did everything. We sharpened his roll-ups. <laughs> we did all yes. of that stuff. And he hated it. Yes. And it didn't make a huge, huge difference. Yeah. I do, want, I do want to talk about with the medication, though. I was very, very hesitant. Even once we tried it and we could see immediately that there was a big improvement immediately. So we knew we were going to go through with it. Um, and I think that I would have lost my mind a little bit if it hadn't have been for someone like you who knows what you're talking about and would, you would predict what would happen and it was almost to a T that yeah. it, it's, it wasn't as simple as here's a pill, there's your, there's your problem solved. The pills yeah. were <clears throat> absolutely crucial in allowing him to be able to work with us to solve yeah. the problem. Yeah. Also, only, no. only recently he was reading a book I mean, he knows he has to take his meds every day. This yes. is after many but years of taking now, medication. Now that he's 12, he, had, he was reading a book. With a character who has ADHD. And he came really? to me and said, Dad, I think I have ADHD. And I said, yes, you mind sharing that, uh, sharing that book? What, what, what book? It's Percy Jackson. Um, he's the, Ari Barat? No, Percy Jackson. Okay, there's two then. And there's Percy Jackson, who's the son of Poseidon and the sea god. And there's this whole range. Oh, right. Yes. Percy and he came to me, he was standing in the kitchen making his breakfast. And he said, I think I have ADHD. And I said, you do have ADHD. And he looked at me and said, well, why didn't you tell me? I said, because until now, you didn't need to know. Yes, um, you didn't ask. <laughs> then we had interesting debates because every time he wouldn't do something, he'd tell me if it's ADHD. But it was only now that there was any awareness from him. Up to that point, we'd say, you need to take your meds because it's easier for you to concentrate on them. Um, he didn't show any interest really in the whys and the wherefores. He got on with what he got on with. Um, I said to him, do you feel any any different on them? And he said, no, I don't think so. Um, and I, I remember saying to him, you know, when I see you without the medicine, you seem like a really bright, happy little boy who has a little bit of trouble concentrating. And on the medicine, I see a bright, even happier little boy because you're able to concentrate. And he, he agreed with me, said, yes, I do feel like that. He's saying at one point when he's off the meds, it's, it's like there are bees in his head. Mm. So we couldn't have a discussion any further. But I remember that, that on the meds, I don't have bees in my head, something like that. 